the Loxley Sorcerer Darts Review begins right now. What's up guys, Worldwide here. I think we got a pretty good video for you today. Hey, any day that we're reviewing Loxley darts, in my opinion, always makes for a good day, right? So yeah, in today's video, I'll be reviewing the Loxley Sorcerer darts. Now I gotta stay, or I gotta start the video off by saying fairly reasonably priced as well. I picked these up at Dart Shopper, and if you see there, as of the uploading of this video, which will be May 17th, 2023, right around 43 US dollars, which, is not too bad, you know, 90% tungsten darts, and it's a Loxley as well, so you know the quality's there, but hey, what's going on with the prices of most all other sets of darts recently? It just, it seems like it's gone through the roof, so nice to see a somewhat affordable set, right? Um, but yeah, pick them up at Dart Shopper. Link will be down below. It's gonna take you over to the Loxley darts, and you can check out these or any of the other Loxley darts, so uh, have yourself a field day there. Again, link down below in the pinned comment, but for those of you out there that like a barrel with a scallop in it, these might be right up your alley. So let's hop right into the video. Stats and dimensions, grip level check. We'll get them on the board, throw them for a bit, and I'll let you know what I think of the Loxley Sorcerer darts. Here we go. <laughs> okay, starting with the packaging, we've got the compact cardboard hand case. And yes, of course, I did go with the lightest version available at 21 grams. Quick peek at the back here, Loxley's philosophy is putting players first. You can go ahead and pause the video if you want to read the rest of that. But yeah, there's the packaging. But what you came to see are the darts. We've got the Loxley Sorcerer, fairly basic up front, right? Just a basic multi-ring, wider multi-ring grip. Towards the middle rear, we've got this nice scallop with the micro multi-rings, and those micro multi-rings go all the way to the stem. So nice to see grip going all the way back there. Now, speaking of the stem, 41.5 millimeter long stem, not including the threads. Nylon stem there, and of course, Loxley's amazing standard size flights, translucent, transparent, feather flights, and in my opinion, Loxley makes some of the best flights on the market. But yeah, there's the dart, but what do you say we get a little closer look, and I'll hit you with quite a few stats and dimensions. Okay, starting right up front, these come with a set of 32 millimeter black coated points, of which right around 27 millimeters is sticking out of the front of the barrel. Now the barrels themselves, 90% tungsten, the barrel length coming in very common, 50.8 millimeters long, and the barrel width right up front, 6.3 millimeters wide. In case you're curious, right in the middle of this scallop, it's only 5.7 millimeters wide. So depending on where you grip these things, they can become quite shallow. Now I unscrewed the stem, checked out the drill depth. They're actually drilled out 15.5 millimeters deep, so relatively deep there, making them ever so slightly front weighted. Now the, the uh, match weight advertises 21 grams Incredible match weight here, although I'd like to see a little closer to 21 grams. However, pretty much it was spot on. The lightest barrel, 21.14, 21.16, and finally 21.17. So only three one hundredths of a gram off from lightest to heaviest. That's some incredible machining there. So well done, Loxley, but let's get a little closer look, and I'll tell you about this grip. Okay, so I'm thinking the grip is pretty much what you would expect by looking at these things up front. You get your typical straight barrel, fatter multi-rings, not that grippy at all. I mean, it's, it's fairly consistent actually from the front all the way to the back. So it's nice to see these micro multi-rings just about the same grip level as the front. So up front, I'd say probably like a level 2.2 grip on a scale of one to five. And same really goes for the back end. Although this scallop would make a nice marker. However, where I grip the dart, I told you guys the other day that I have the point stuck into my ring finger, so my grip kind of naturally falls right in front, if you can see that, right in front of that scallop. So I won't be utilizing the scallop in the throwing part of the video, but I will try for a couple turns anyway. Let's see what we got up front. Of course, as with most barrels, quite a huge lip right there where the point meets the barrel, so I would highly recommend that you repoint these things, use some sort of specialty point, maybe like a mission sniper ripple or a target storm point gets rid of that lip, in your flights will thank you. But yeah, I think I'm gonna throw these things exactly as they come out of the box, 100% stock. And um, yeah, let's get them on the board to see how they fly. I'm really curious to see how this rear grip goes. I will, yeah, I will try a rear grip for a couple turns, but yeah, should be an interesting dart to throw. Here we go. 
Okay guys, let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna have a few throws, like I said, with a stock setup. And after about three or four turns, I'm going to add the Condor Axe Slim. Now, the reason I'm gonna do that is because during warmups, I just haven't had any luck with these darts. I think we found one of those rare sets of darts. I just can't throw well. The scallop is kind of in the wrong spot for me, so I'm gripping right in front of the scallop. However, when I bring the dart back, I kind of twirl it a little bit. And my pointer finger is catching kind of on the lip or the edge of that scallop. It's not grippy, but it's just putting me off a bit. So we'll see how it goes. All right. So yeah, just a few random throws. <laughs> of course I complain, first dart, treble 20. Well, that's right on the wire. Um, my camera's in the way, we'll go 19s. Hey, I'll take a 99. And you see how this dart laid over this way? I was seeing a lot of that during warmups. Kind of, um. You, rem uh, you remember Wes Newton, his darts would hit the board and lean over to the right. That's what these are doing. So I don't know if this setup is it's just not working well for me. I, don't know, I feel pretty good today. I've been throwing okay in the last couple weeks. So I don't know, just every so often I run across a set of darts that even though I like them, now that one's standing up and leaning to the right, just not getting a consistent release. I think that's in. Uh, hey, 100, I think. Yeah, that's 100. So the, um, yeah, they're landing in the board at all different sorts of angles. And I think that's just because of that scallop. If that scallop was four millimeters closer to the front, I think I'd like them a lot better. It's just, you know, what can you do? You know, you, you buy, there's so many sets of darts out there with scallops, but some of them just in the wrong spot. Doesn't make it a bad dart. It's just personally not working that great for me. It wasn't in warmups. I came out of the gate here with a 99 and a hundred though. So <laughs> I, I guess I can't complain, right? One hundred. Well, hey, maybe they are working well, but you can even see there, to be honest with you, the first dart leaning way over to the right, the third dart kind of leaning to the left. So I'm getting a very inconsistent release with these things, kind of all different angles. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put on the Condor Axe and uh, see if it makes any difference, see if the darts go a little more straight. So we'll be right back. Okay, so, all right, Condor Axe Slim. We'll see if these are a little more forgiving, if they, if they straighten the dart out for me, but we'll find out. First time trying the Condor, so I assume they're gonna get to the board a lot quicker. All right, so I probably don't have to throw them as hard, but I'll just throw them my normal throw. All right, I'm drifted to the left. Wow, oh, yeah, they do get to the board a lot quicker. Oh yeah, they go into the left on me. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a couple throws to adjust. I mean, going from a standard size flight to a Condor Axe Slim, quite a big difference, right? Maybe if I had about 10 minutes here to get used to them. Oh, all right, what's going on here? Everything's going left. Oh, hey, there we go. So I just moved my fingers ever so slightly forward and hey, look, it corrected the problem instantly, 125. Sometimes you just gotta mess around just a little bit. All right, we'll do one more. Huge difference, the speed in which they get to the board though. All right, move my finger forward. Now nah, they're still going left or they wanna go left. All right, we'll do one more, one more. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it all boils down to the dart feels great. You guys saw the quality, super high quality, but for me, just the, um, the scallop, it's in the wrong spot. So, all right, last one. Ooh, blocked, cover shot. All right, it is what it is today. 
All right, so yeah, that was a few throws. I think um, obviously I did a lot better with the um, stock setup. So that was surprising. But like I said, kind of a big adjustment. I think if I had five, 10 minutes to get used to this setup, it'd probably be doing all right. So um, let's go into the next clip. We have a nice 180, little deflection on the last dart. Give these things a rating and we're out of here. Let's go. Ah, it's in there. Boom! Yeah, I wasn't sure if that last one got in. First, second, and that third one snuck in right over the top. Well, hey, you guys now, great place to end the video right there. Hope you enjoyed the close-up look and review of the Loxley Sorcerer darts. Reminder, you can pick these up at Dart Shopper, link down below in the pinned comment. And uh, I'll take it over to Dart Shopper and check out these, or like I said, any of the other Loxley darts. They got some pretty good stuff right now, so um, worth a look for sure. Now comes the time of the video where I give these a recommendation on how well I think they're going to work for a recreational dart player. So let's start with the good. The price, pretty decent, right? 90% tungsten, also good. The quality, the match weight, about as good as it gets, right? However, I don't think a lot of players out there are looking for a scallop. And... For me, it was just in the wrong place. I had, a, I had a hard time controlling these darts or they just weren't easy for me to throw because that scallop was like probably about four millimeters too far back for me. So I was really having to adjust my grip. So I'm not sure a, a scallop in general is gonna work well for, for a lot of players. So still gonna get a decent score because I think it is a quality set of darts. What do you think about a 7.4 out of 10? Let me know down in the comments section, but I think that's a fair score. It's just, um, you know, it's one of those things you either like scallops or you don't. So I guess we'll leave it at that and hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Later.